congratulations, you're under contract. I'm so excited for you. So here's what's gonna happen going forward. The first thing that's gonna happen is you'll need to get back in touch with your lender if you're using a lender and make sure that they have all the documentation and sign off on the intent to proceed so that they can order the appraisal. In the meantime, you're going to get me the earnest money and we'll talk about how that's gonna happen. Uh, we are going to schedule the inspections and then we will get to the inspection objection deadline. In the meantime, the seller is going to be providing us with title commitments and all of the HOA documents for you to review. If there's any other documents that they have that we need access to, they'll be sending those over as well. We want to get our inspection done just as soon as possible. Once that's done, we will discuss what you want to ask the seller to take care of. Keep in mind what we're looking for are items of safety, structural issues, functioning systems of the home like the furnace, the water heater, appliances, things of that sort. We aren't looking for cosmetic items. We'll draft that up, send it over to the seller by the inspection objection deadline and by the inspection resolution deadline, you and the seller have to come to a written agreement about what will or will not be done about those items or the contract will terminate all by itself. In the meantime, the lender has, been, has ordered the appraisal and that appointment will be scheduled and we've ordered the improvement location certificate to be drafted for you. And that is a survey type product that'll show you all of the items, um, improvements on your lot as they exist. Very next thing will be getting through underwriting with your lender and then working on scheduling your walkthrough, your closing and possession. You will take possession of the property normally at closing unless you've agreed to an extended rent back by the seller. Um, and, but assuming that you are taking possession at closing, you'll be transferring utilities into your name a few days ahead of time and I'll meet you at the house to do your walkthrough and then we'll go directly to closing. Once everybody has signed documents and money has changed hands, you will own the home and you'll have the right to move in. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask me anything. And we'll be right behind you all the way, making sure that there are no glitches and that you have a smooth, successful closing. Thank you for hiring us and we look forward to serving you.